Okay, this is a model Seabird model 161. And we're going to go over this jukebox and show you how to do some different things about changing title strips, how to move the mechanism to change records, how to set the uh, popularity meter, uh, stuff like that. So the first things first, uh, how to open up the jukebox. So you grab the glass like this, make sure you have a good, good grip of it and take it all the way up like this and make sure you're holding it steady and then right down here right here there's a bar and you can sort of see there's a little little uh, thing that sticks out and then there's a hole right here i don't know if you can see the hole it sort of sticks right in there like that you see that okay so what you're going to do is lift this all the way up here like that so it stands up and then what it's got a telescoping rod and you see how that sort of so it'll lock into place. So see, it's locked right there. And if you come around the other side here, come on around the other side, if you want to lower it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift it up and then it'll go down. So watch when I lock it into place. And then if I wanna lower it, I have to lift it up and then it goes down and then I can put it down and tuck it away. But for this video, we're gonna raise it up going to lock into place then what we're going to do is put it right there like that okay once it's secure and I know I've got it now it's up all right so let's talk about your the jukebox these are title strips here you've got some up here and then you've got some up here so let's talk about this one in particular here so the way this works is if you want to change these out you have to lift this up and then it locks into place and you can sort of see over here there's a little thing that holds it so if you want to close it you have to push up and it goes down and then it'll lock into place right there and then that's how you change your bulb right here okay now if you look over here there's a little piece of metal here and there's this little piece of metal that pushes up if I push it far enough you can sort of see it's going to now hold that there. This is important in the future because this is your popularity meter. It tells you how many plays each play, each record's had. If I turn this dial, it'll reset it all to the zero position. Okay, now they're set. Okay, so everything's at zero. Now, if I want to bring this back down, and this is important because we want the light to shine on these title strips, I'm going to have to push this piece of wire down so I can get this to go down. Okay? All right. So that sort of talks about the popularity meter and that. And we have that. This is the light bulb that you turn. This is a brand new light bulb. We know about this. So let's talk about changing title strips. Here's how this works. These are trays. If you take your thumb and you push in on this, this will release this tray. If you look up here, there's a circular thing here. If you lift it up and out, you'll actually get the tray in your hand. And then you're able to do the title strips and change them out. When you're done, you're gonna hook this part right over here. Now, I've seen in the past some of these trays where these things are broken, where this doesn't quite stay on there. They're hot glued on, they're, they're messed up. On this particular jukebox, they're all staying on, so that's a good sign. Sometimes people, when they do them and you hook them back on, they'll, they'll change their title strips inside the jukebox. Other people will do them one at a time. They'll take the tray out, bring it to their kitchen table, and they'll do their switch and then they'll put do the next tray so they don't get it messed up. So they have it in the right order. So if you're gonna do title strips, I recommend doing one at a time. All right, now the tricky part is once you get this back in there, you've gotta sorta of get it lined up underneath here, okay? And then you have to push hard on this to get it to go up in there to lock in. So now you would do the next one, as you can see. And you pull that out and so on and so forth there's four trays up here when you're done you push this and lower it down and then you have your title strips okay 
Now these are a little bit harder because if you're short, <laughs> they're gonna be harder to do, but the same principle applies. You're gonna push down, bring your tray down, and again, it hooks here. You're gonna, it's a little bit harder to unhook because you can sort of see right here when you unhook it, you gotta sort of hook it on there to put it back up, bring it over and then push down to hook it. Same principle applies, it's just a little bit more difficult to do. And again, you can do your title strips here, four more trays, okay? And then the, you can be careful, you can clean the glass here, but remember this is like the numbers are on the glass, so don't spray your glass. Spray your rag and gently clean in here, okay? It's important, the other side's a little different. You can clean this side, no problem, the numbers aren't there, but see, I can feel the numbers here. So that's another important thing when you're doing some cleaning of your jukebox. All right, so that's the title strips. Okay, let's get on to the mechanism. Here's the mechanism. It will always start to the far right. Your mechanism will always end here. After it searches and there's no more records, it will end here. All right, come on over here. I'm gonna show them something. There's a little button, there's a little, I don't know if you can see this, there's a little, see this little button that slides right here? Okay, if I push this all the way, and then there's a little button that you push in and out, you see that? Maybe if we undo this light so we can see it. All right, it might be better. Okay, see, there's a little red button here, and then there's this, there's this, this thing right here. Okay, now watch when I, when I push this all the way to the left, this mechanism here, this mechanism here is gonna start moving. So watch this. Watch me push this. Um, all right, I'm gonna push this. Now watch it move. Now if I, if I push that red button in twice, come on over here. When I push this all the way to the left, this, this bar, when I push that and I push that red button twice, it'll stop. It'll stop. Right? So what I want, the object is, is to, to stop it over there by pushing that red button twice because now look what I've done. I've allowed myself room to put records in this area. Now, if I come back over here, now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to push this. It'll, it'll automatically center itself. Now I'm going to push this red button twice. Now look what I've done. I've stopped the mechanism here, and now I can service the records here, right? The records are now being serviced, so I can swap out the records here. Now, this is very important, because every time you push this button this way, it automatically centers itself, okay? And if you hit that twice, it'll stop the mechanism. But watch what happens, okay? Watch the mechanism go. Okay, it'll go up and down. Okay, it'll go up and down one more time. I'm not pushing the red button. It's just going to go up and now it's going to end over here. Okay, now you think, okay, I'm done. I've changed my records. I close the glass up and I go and make a selection and nothing happens. And you say, oh, my jukebox is broken. No, it's not broken. The reason why is when you're done doing this, when you're done pushing the red button and doing this, you have to push this button all the way to the right to be on. Now the jukebox will select a record. So let's turn the light back on and we'll show you what I mean. So watch, when we push A1, watch, it'll come down and select the record. Okay. We're gonna cancel that record, but the point the point is is come on back over here. The point is is this has to be all the way to the right, okay, for it to select records. If it's not all the way, way to the right, it will not select records. Okay. The only time you're gonna do the scan mode over here by pushing it this way and using this red button is when you wanna move the mech into positions to change your records. All right, so that's all about changing records, okay? 
This is your light. This is your diffuser glass down here. If you want to change, if you want to clean your diffuser glass, you can take out your light and get in here with a light rag and clean this brand new diffuser glass that's in here. This is your starter, brand new starter. So this area you can clean in here. Okay. Um, I have another video already done about oiling the motor underneath here, and I'll shoot one about changing needles. I'm going to do that in a separate video. Um, and that's about it for the inner portion. We've gone over changing records, changing title strips, changing light bulbs, cleaning in here, the glass. If you want to clean the glass, don't spray the glass. <coughs> clean, uh, spray your rag. Uh, I recommend using the daily newspaper to clean glass, not paper towel. It does a much better job. And uh, that's about it. All right, so thanks for watching. I, uh, and I hope this, whoever's watching this video on YouTube, I hope this helps you with your Seaberg jukebox. This, this pertains to a lot of Seaberg jukeboxes. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my videos. Thanks.